Hey y'all, Decamon here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time, our lovely date with Tifa at the Gold Saucer got cut short when somebody with a gun for our arm decided to start shooting up the place. Surprisingly though, it wasn't Barrett. No, Barrett was actually after the real culprit. Too bad nobody believes us. Oh, shut up, you. Ugh. As I was saying, too bad nobody believes us. So Dio, the, you know, gold saucer proprietor, basically gave us 24 hours to either prove Barrett's innocence or he's gonna haul a lot of us off to Shinra. Fun. Uh, even more fun, his, his idea of give us a chance to prove ourselves is to throw our asses down here to the underbelly of the gold saucer, which is basically like a, a level out of frickin' Borderlands. <laughs> uh, and with the rest of the crew under lock and key, our only hope is to get them out. It's a chocobo race! <laughs> you ready or what? I've been looking forward to this one. It's about time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Yeah. Especially after all the effort I put through. I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You wanna go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. Oh, this rendition of the Chocobo theme is awesome. Believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole <laughs> new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't what? know their asses I want the feathers. The ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure. Though. Okay, on you go. <laughs> oh, I gotta say I enjoy this new outfit and it was worth all the effort getting those extra grains to get this outfit. It is gorgeous looking. Uh, I wonder if there's a version of this outfit in 14. Yeah, 14 has their own truck of abartings that are awesome looking, but all based on the primal fights. This one's not bad, though. Damn, that was instantaneous. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering <laughs> off, okay? I don't know, I'm kind of on a leash just like the bird is, so I can't really do much at the moment. Are there other burbies in here? There are, oh my gosh. Oh! Gold saucer barding. That's cool looking. That's that cowboy outfit that I was trying to finish unlocking. What are you wearing? You're also wearing the Shinra stuff. <laughs> and then of course there's Pico in like the dark shaman set. Coming with Billy. Jockey oh, loud. Boy. Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. Oh, of course and he as is. As much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. So I should kill him now and save myself the trouble is what you're saying. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track. And all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills or with one of them smoldering looks? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our um, sakes, I hope she isn't. Remove the hand or I will remove it from your shoulder. Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Oh? <laughs> They're like, uh, by the way, you're you're guaranteed to be practicing. If you want to brush up on the jockey skills, practice on the racing sim. Even if you've never raced a day in your life, completing the sim's tutorial objectives will ensure that you are ready to compete. Steer, speed up, slow down, drift. 
Press X right when the countdown hits two to begin the race with an explosive start. Well. Little Mario Kart uh, should not hurt. <laughs> I, don't know, I have played way too much Mario Kart. Let's see if I can't. Ah, here we are. The more blue balloons you collect, the faster your chocobo will run. Hmm. Each balloon races a bird's speed level by one to a max of 10. Know that when you run into other obstacles or collide with chocobos, your speed level goes down. Oh. So these are basically like the coins. What do we got? Red. Uh, red balloons will fill your chocobo's ability gauge. Once the gauge is full, press L1 to activate your chocobo's ability. Remember, each type of chocobo has its own. Oh! Ah! Yellow balloons will add a charge to the dash gauge. As long as you have at least one, press R1 for a short burst of speed. You can only stock as many charges as there are in your dash gauge, though, so use them when you can. Baby can drift. <laughs> Almost to a full speedy. All right, it's all my objectives, other than just you know. Hauling that ass! Hauling that ass! And there's under 30 seconds. Voila! <laughs> now that you've completed the tutorial and learned the ropes, you can race in the Chocobo Cup. Very nice. Very nice. My little burpee is going to do just fine. <laughs> All right, now where the heck do I go? Work. 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 Oh dear. Um, I think this one's part bird already. Your first race ever, and it's with Joe. Yeah, I know. Lucky me, right? God, there's so much just food here. Look at this. What's the plan? Just stuff us all into somnolence? Hey, I'm trying to manifest a win here. <laughs> you want to win? Don't eat the junk food. A bug boy. Oh. I'll go easy on ya. Bug boy. Are they talking about my hair? Our ranch needs this win, so give it everything you got for us. Hmm. Hyperion is Joe's bird, and it's a fast and rugged son of a bitch. Things bred to win. Hmm. I think someone mentioned that that actually was a thing in the original game, is you actually had to breed chocobos. Our next race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. I think that means us. You good to go? Yep or do. Race in the Chocobo Cup. I don't know if there is actually going to be Chocobo breeding in the- Ah! Chocobo attributes. Each bird is unique, but they all possess the following attributes. Speed, acceleration, weight, cornering, strength, and intelligence. Intelligence. Depending on the distribution of these attributes, a bird can be faster or easier to handle. <laughs> For a more in-depth breakdown, speed and acceleration will make your chocobos run faster. More weight makes them fly shorter distances, but harder to knock around. Cornering helps chocobos turn better, strength keeps them from slipping, and intelligence affects the potency of their chocobo ability. Ah. Uh, gear! Chocobo can wear gear. Yes, each piece of gear has its own set of attributes. Oh, this is more than just cosmetic! In addition, gear comes with a unique skill that activates automatically when you meet its conditions. You can save up to four sets, three racing sets, and one world set, which is the gear your bird will wear when it shuttles you around the world. <laughs> huh. Cool. Oh, this gives me a kick, a kick in the acceleration, huh? Oh, wow. That gives me a huge bit of acceleration. Huh. Comeback, kid. Heavyweight's probably not bad. Huh. Nice. Listen how much you slow down when you leave the track. Increase dash speed. 
Increase the effect of dash panels. Uh... Take this one, actually. What about you? Dash move, increase the number of dash charges. Uh, that's kind of meh. <laughs> uh, curator increases the efficiency of items. Merc over, oh God. I think we'll go with trump card. All right. Hopefully this is a good set. Here's hoping. Here's a hoping. I don't know yet. But considering this is main story, I imagine they won't make this too difficult. Special race, the Chocobo Cup. <laughs> All right. Yes, everyone else is happy to compete. I'm here competing for my life. Which is why I'm going to win. Hmm. Here's a secret. I survived that recent shooting. <laughs> You're not talking about the Coliseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? Rude's just like, ugh, <laughs> goddammit, this guy. my bird's a winner. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna see us on the goddamn television. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that actually does look good. Though I'll happily skip the butterscotch. Got eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Jeez, you Elena. Know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. <laughs> God. What asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better! <laughs> and bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream! Oh my god! No okay. vanilla. No vanilla? Seriously, I'm getting heat stroke over here! I'm gonna die! <laughs> you want that? Do ya? <laughs> Rude's just like, God damn it, where's Reno? Wish you were here, partner. <laughs> Elena is no Reno. She is a dunce. God. Seriously, you're going out in the desert, at least bring like a parasol or something. Or don't wear black. And away we go! This is going to be a thing here with you. <laughs> Fourth, huh? That's not good. A speedy bob. <laughs> oh, I'm catching up, buddy. I'm catching up. I'll take one of those, and I'll take one of those. Well, you can hard corner here. Ooh, is there drafting? Bye! <laughs> oh god, overshot! I need one more and I'll be uh, maxed out. Well, I shaved a whole second off my first slap.
Oh, I didn't see the speed panels there. Speed up! <laughs> speed up man you can take that corner hard with these greaves I don't even think I use the good ones where's everybody <laughs> you all are so far behind me rewards prize money actual rewards like, teammates did he just punch out one of his own henchmen Everybody's so happy to watch me win. And you, you guys enjoy so much when I get into full-on rage mode and start throwing my controller around. <laughs> Ugh, fine. Whoa! Yes, you can have the prize money. I knew I backed a winner. You're the real deal, kiddo. I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. <laughs> Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? <laughs> Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? Yes, and then I'll break your face and your fake gold teeth. Ah, so that's where the store goes. That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. Uh. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. Uh, now here's the real question. Do they have Barrett? Or do they have the, uh, the other guy? Party selection locked, really? There's no way Barrett shot those people, right? Nope. Are there any other gun arm dudes who might have gone on a killing spree? We know him. He'd never do that. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Mm-hmm. That's the real question. Will we find out soon enough? Can I really not change? No, I'm locked to the girls. Interesting. Oh, I almost forgot. Tifa, you have a new weapon with no slots. Shit. Oh, you're getting off of these fast, girl. Huh. Damn. Like, seriously, this thing has no materia slots on it. What are you guys? Oh, just sand hog pies. Alright, I do like me a some star shower though. Oof, unfortunately, Tifa lost a big chunk of health to that freaking gravity. I do not like that ability. It's just like, here, free damage. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> Sorry. And the fact that those guys just get it. Such a waste of resources. Oh, full on Sage again. All right, give me a second. Let me spend some of that there Sage. Of course, I can't spend it on the things I really want. Much better. Oh. Oh shit, he wasn't kidding about the vulture thing. Uh. Am I loose in the open world? No. Also notice I have no, uh, I have no birdie. Unlike the Corel 
other half of the coral region. I have no burb. And I would like a burp, please. There we go, weapon mastered. Now I don't have to worry about this thing anymore. Thank goodness. Because this thing sucks. I want off of this weapon. All right, much better now that she's off of that crappy thing with only one materia slot. Seriously, who thought that was a good idea to give you something with one materia slot this far into the game? I mean, seriously, we're on chapter eight. We're on chapter eight of, I think what? I think they said either 15 or seven or 13. I can't remember which one. But that means regardless, we're probably halfway through the game, except at the same time, there's supposed to be seven regions? So I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. God, I do not like this type of enemy. I'm betting that's the scrapyard. Oh shit. And that's a set of giant sand twisters. Which I imagine are guarding a boss. Damn it. This way! Oh hey Baron! Move! I guess he got loose from them. Or he's not the one I caught. That sounded like Kate Sith, who probably just got blown away. <laughs> yep. I'll be chewing on sand for weeks. Oof. Red? That was mean. Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! Ugh. What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for you. Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. <sighs> they did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Jeez, Barrett. You know it wasn't you! Talk to us. I know the man who murdered all those people. Dine. My best friend. Oh, shit. Wait, the guy who was against the reactors back at the old town? years ago. The Corral reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back and tell them what we found. Hmm. God, no. Oh, the village. This was when Shinra attacked the village, wasn't it? Shinra, they just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on... Oh! Hey! Over here! Yeah, seriously! Why do you guys blame Barrett? You literally yeah. said Shinra's the one doing this! This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. Marlene? You ready? For what? <laughs> still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Damn it. <laughs> and you two are crazy at this point, just running into the hail of the bullets. Dude, don't come back for him! Go! Oh. 
Honestly, do I have to do everything? Oh shit. Queen Bitch is here herself? Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold. Damn that bloom. Which makes you liabilities. Oh god, this is how he lost his arm. This is psychotic! Marlene. And again, the fuck with this village blaming Barrett for this? Like, seriously, the fuck with the village blaming Barrett for this shit. So, Marlene's. I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. And strapped a big old gun to his arm. Most of me anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I'd resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dine shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. I saw him at the saucer, saw the bodies and the bullet holes, but that's not who Dine is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. I don't know, the bodies beg to differ, buddy. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Man, I am so glad we're getting some proper Barrett backstory. I felt like in Remake, he just... He was just the big gruff guy with the gun on his arm. But now we're getting some real proper story for him. No time like the present. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, I see a bench. Is this gonna be a dungeon? Hey, Barrett's on the party. The selection's been unlocked. Well, if that's the case, uh, Barrett, get your ass in the party. Oh. Barrett, get your ass in the party squared. My man's got a new gun. Vulcan cannon. Oh, it's a melee attack. <laughs> nice. What do we got here? Enhanced overcharge for extra damage. Synergy damage. Uh, gives more ATB for weapons. Max MP, max HP. Yeah, we'll do this and we'll do this. I always approve of more damage. We do. Don't overdo it. Yeah, I'll get him. Is that it? <laughs> You're done. Nice. Is that it? Damn. That charging uppercut does some work. Whew. Don't stop me right before the bench game. And you're sure he's here? We're sure. <sighs> mm hmm. I'm sorry, but I need to do this alone. Whoa. Barrett. Go. Barrett solo run? Uh oh. Oh, well, if that's the case, mind if I uh, give him a healing materia here really quick? Uh. 
probably don't need this ice material right now. Give him that extra healing material that's nobody's using at the moment. Uh, we'll bench him, because I want to see Barrett's bench. He just casually sits down. <laughs> uh, check the old vending machine for free shit. Why are you giving me a phoenix down? My man is solo in this act. Uh, I do need to, however, check up here. Oh dear. He's got 20 points. What do I buy with 20 points? Well, I buy this to make his ice skills better. Everything else up here is so bloody expensive. Oh, I kind of want this. Massive recharge. But it's so far away from everything. Ooh, that I'll take, though. Give him free protect upon entering battle. That seems really good right now. Dude, listen to the music. Oh, this is somber as heck. This is going to turn into a, a bloodbath, I swear. This is not going to end well. The reason they make Barrett go alone and the reason they gave me a bench, this is going to be a fight between him and dying, isn't it? There he is. Yep. Yeah, he's got himself a big old gun arm just like Barrett. Dying. That you? Hey. I know you. No shit. Dying. Hang on. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Barrett Wallace. Come on. Hard to do this with one hand, man. Bless your heart, dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Wait, what? You got heat stroke or something? Well, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. Oh my god, I think he does have heat stroke or something. Yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. He's Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. He's lost his damn mind. What happened to you? Though come to think of it, I don't see a gift neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty handed. God damn it. The hell? This is more than heat stroke. This man has completely lost his mind. Also, his gun's bigger than mine. Hey. Uh oh. Hell's his kind doing here? You son of a bitch. Still living on Shinra's kill. No, man. It ain't like that. Are you gonna tell me we're gonna fight over a goddamn misunderstanding? Go on then, do it. Please, I'm here to help you. <laughs> you here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit. Uh oh. Oh god damn it! I knew this was gonna turn into a slugfest. Stay back. This is between us. And no one else. <laughs> gun arm to gun arm. Just you and me then. Right here. Right now. Get it together. There 
he goes again, our fearless friend. Oh boy. Pressure shot. Oh, I was really I don't have a cess on. Oh, hold on, 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 hold on. Oh, I forgot. If Barrett's gonna be solo bombing this, he's gotta have a cess on. Son of a bitch. Give me a sec. Let's fix this real quick. Uh, take off the wind magic for right now. Where's my other assess? Who's got it on them right now? It's Yuffie. There we go. Yeah, I gotta have that. Okay. There he goes again, our fearless friend. All right, here we are. The gut-armed assailant responsible for the bloodshed in the gold saucer. After losing everything he held dear, he took up the mantle of a cold-blooded executioner. Driven by an insatiable need for vengeance, he has turned his ire on the man he once called his closest friend. Inflicting enough damage will pressure. When his HP is reduced, he will fuse with scrap metal to perform powerful attacks. During this time, he will be difficult to pressure. However, destroying a discrete part will interrupt the attacks and make him more susceptible to being staggered. Weak to fire, huh? That's not good. And I don't have fires of spell, of course not. That works though. Ah, too close. Woo, my luck bar. My luck bar was not happy about that. My poor. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me, boy. Ain't no time. I thought you were here to There we go. <laughs> Knock a little sense into him. <laughs> the best of friends together again. <laughs> Ain't it beautiful? Remember when we had that rat problem? You and me Ooh. set traps, and you got caught in one of them. I guess old habits die hard. <laughs> oh. Oh, that breaks cover. That breaks cover. Ain't done yet. Why? Oh yeah, there's a stagger, or at least a part of a stagger. Forgive me. Come on out. Huh. 
Ugh, man, I really don't want to have to deal with this. Get some steel skin going. Take a lot less damage here. Whoo, that smarted. <sighs> Come on, Dine. Marlene. I, I can't remember. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that is some fucking Heisenberg shit. Oh, uh, you can do this. You can still save him. I'm gonna kill you. What have you done to yourself, man? Oh. The fuck did he do to himself? Also, I need a mega pot. Still in it. Yeah, he is full on Heisenbergening this shit. Oh, that's unblockable. I should have known that. Dude, man, what have you done to yourself? Sir, we want to play 14 patterns. We'll play 14 patterns. Get some assistance going in here. Don't let me down, y'all. Let me down, let me down, let me down. <laughs> the big T himself. Oh. Please. Still in it. You know what? We're gonna fire in the hole this. Woo! That smarted. <laughs> big old Titan throw a big old boulder at his ass. Forget me. There we go. Hey, party level six now. <laughs> Alright. You done dying? Have I knocked enough sense into you yet? Get on with it. No, Dan. It's over. Over? You think this is over? This ain't even close to over! I don't know, man. I got the experience points. This is over. Oh. Kill me. I can't live like this anymore. Barrett! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me, huh? Ow! I thought you wanted to help your own buddy! I did, and then you started shooting at me! <laughs> what? No wise words? Coward! When the going gets tough, he's gone. Ah, no, he's not. He's been with us this whole dang time. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... <sighs> I thought 
could change our lives. Well, it changed them all right. You know, I can hear it now. Eleanor, as clear as day. Yeah, he's still crazy. Give you the benefit of the doubt. Saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Shinra! Shinra's gonna answer! Seriously! Oh, I know! Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh! oh. What the fuck? Where'd these assholes come from? Where'd the freaking troopers come from? All the lives I took just to fill the hole in my heart. Just to fill the void they left. I want to see them again. And I know what I need to do. But I can't. I just can't. <sighs> Eleanor and Marlene are waiting for me, but... I can't bring myself to join him. Wait, he thinks Marlene's gone, Marlene. doesn't he? She's alive. Yeah. Just turn four. She's in Midgar. Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Oh shit! I just realized. Oh my god, I just realized Marlene is Dine's kid. I knew that Marlene was adopted, but now I see what why Barrett was so protective of her. Oh she's Dine's kid, and Eleanor must have been his wife. Oh, damn. After everything went down. I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. Damn, this this episode's hitting me hard. That day, house was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. Dude, we thought That's you were dead. Me. Seriously. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Dying. We could go see Marlene right now. Ah. My man has gone through some Look serious PTSD me, issues. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop. With all this. Goddamn blood on my hands. How could I ever hold my daughter again? Oh god, here come more. Oh, this is about to become really tragic, isn't it? Yep. God, this, this part is sitting so much harder than it should. They did such a good job on this. I literally got tears in my goddamn eyes from all of this. Yeah, there's no way he survives this. Bit. 
dying. Hey. You carry that guilt. That weight. Dying. Dying. No. He's gone, man. Baby. That is one of the best scenes I've ever seen, hands down. <laughs> Holy crap. Barrett! Oh, come on, man. I don't have the range right now. Oh, what the shit. Shinra's flying in the big guns. Come on! Ugh. Dude, I can't deal with this right now, okay? Give me a second. I literally have to blow my nose. Okay. I think I've managed to compose myself enough. What the fuck? That was the best scene I've ever seen. That was... God damn. I mean, that's literally all I can say is god damn. Like, holy shit. That was... The most bonkers thing I've seen in such a long time. What the hell? Dude, I he was I had goosebumps, I had tears running down my cheeks. That was an emotional scene. Damn. Ugh, and now we have to get back. Or at least attempt to get back before we get intercepted here, yep. Hmm. And here I thought that Gus guy was just yanking our chain. Oh god damn it, Gus! So, that said, is it okay to let the director get involved like this? Wait, what? Were you going to stop him? Wait, hold Deploying on. Going riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Are you telling me Palmer's in there? Because well, if it is, oh boy. Down there, boss man. Oh my. I think he is. I think Palmer's actually in that. Kathy's post is out, Palmer. Booking's canceled, Palmer. Security's been slaughtered, Palmer. Your chocobo can last, Palmer. <laughs> okay, that one's not my fault. I've had it. And now you're going to pay. I'm a director. And you will show me some respect. <laughs> now proceeding to disrespect. <laughs> Alright. Alright. What are we looking at here? I imagine, yep, Thunder Week. A riot control tank developed by the Advanced Weaponry Division. It is equipped with a highly advanced AI support system, allowing the mech to consistently operate at peak performance, so long as its pilot is not completely incompetent. Uh, landing limit or synergies will flip it over. Attacking the cockpit while in its overturned state will deal significant damage. Landing several powerful offensive u abilities while Palmer's taunting will pressure it. Oh. Pay attention. Oh. Keep it together. Yeah, Trick is going to be getting Aerith some actual freaking charges here. The fuck? <laughs> oh, you little shit! Cloud, would you just straight up end this man? No, it's not! I'll take care of them. Get them! Oh my god, he berserked us all! 
I just noticed that he berserked all of us. Of course. Taking over. It's on you. So it's my turn. Why don't you leave the way? Doing good. Doing good. Ooh, actually, where's my plasma discharge? This guy's weak to lightning. That's actually a really good ability to use on him. Uh, I need Tifa to actually get some bar. All right, now we can synergy this bitch. Copy. Taking over. Oh, that did some damage. I'll take care of them. It's your turn. It's on you. My turn. <laughs> 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 All right, barbecue that bar barbecue that booty. <laughs> the fuck you status dust again. <laughs> I think the AI has just officially had enough of him. Oh, the legs. Go for the legs. Ooh, can I get a missed high pop, please? Here goes. Can you take over? Hang back. Let's get this over. Actually, wait, where's Ramu? Deal with that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Have fun. Amphibian laser? Are you kidding me? Well, he does kind of look like a frog. Also, he's about to frog my ass, isn't he? Smarted. I need more bar. I got this. That does it. Oh no, you don't, buddy. Get back here. Let's dance, asshole. Keep it together. All set. <laughs> Sounds good to me, buddy. That's right, keep juggling that booty. This slow thing is irritating. There we go. All right, left leg's finally been crippled. Oh, that's not good. Uh. Deal with that. Oh, you're out. So it's my turn. You've got this. Let's do this. Easy with the freaking death beam, buddy. Oh. 
finish it. Finish it. Huh? Going in. Huh? 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 Bring it. Let's get them deadly laser beams going. Oh, my life bar all of a sudden. Hang back. Oh, that was unpleasant. But I think this might finish him. Light him up, Ramu! Woohoohoo! 3k in the doll. Oh. Strangle? Uh, no. Do not strangle, sir. Keep it uh -oh. Ah, get him off me! Get this guy off me! Ah, there we go. God damn it. It's the Turks again. Of course it is. Can't just let us kill Palmer, no! He's a director. <laughs> Meanwhile, poor Barrett's been over here grieving for Dine. We gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now! Hmm? What in a... Uh, it's a doom... It's a buggy! And the driver's a lunatic, apparently. Oh, it's Dio. Of course it's a lunatic. Fear not, friends. Your chariot awaits. Dio? Oh, thank you for taking the bomb off I've my wrist. Using this to eavesdrop. Can never be too careful. But you are innocent, and I was wrong. By way of apology, I gift you this. <laughs> I get a dude buggy. Uh, I don't think Barrett's in the mood for you a joy right right now. A proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> um, is this not a bit much, sir? Hmm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me, it matters not. Could you please put some clothes on, though? Jesus. You are always welcome, my friend. <laughs> now. That's my hand, he's breaking. <sighs> okay. Barrett's gonna need a while to recover from this one. Me, oh. Kate, where are you sitting? So live with it. Well, we're here for you. And move past it, buddy. To help take the load off. Huh? I mean it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think you might. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's get some relationship with Barrett for this. I feel like we've earned it. Looks like this is goodbye, old buddy. Oof. Oh, slag. Dude, I already had two boss fights in a row. I don't need a third. Now's your chance. Leave this riffraff to me. Uh. Time 
to get the blood pumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Shit's roots stronger than Dio. Or not. <laughs> It was a quick study, apparently. Oh my god. I'm getting Resident Evil 5 flashbacks. I got this. Alright. Oh my god, I really am getting Resident Evil 5 flashbacks. This is just like the freaking scene where you have to shoot all this, you know... I can't talk right. It, it, this, there is a level in Resident Evil 5 that's just like this. Alright. Dio has provided you a means of escaping the chaos unfolding beneath the saucer. Give the Shinra forces a taste of their own ballistic medicine as you attempt to shake their pursuit. Uh, aim. Steer. Oh, I can steer with this. Alright. Fire. Overcharge. Oh, snap. Gotcha. It takes about 10 bullets here to take one of these guys, huh? Who is next? Took out a nice chunk of them. Oh, that just charges on its own. I can't manually. Come on, I'm gonna get that overcharge here. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I see. It's L3, not R3. Yeah, this is much better. Gotta reload. I can't tell. <laughs> this music is halfway between somber and serious. Got them both. I want to save the overcharge for the next chopper if there is one. I can hear one. Oh god! All the way over. Thank you. Here, real quick. Let's do this. Got you. Damn it. Oh, snack. You want All right, that takes care of the chopper. Takes care of him. Oh, I thought that was a dude for half a second. Now you're in for it. Oh, God damn it. I already broke this thing once, man! That triangle to recharge. Got you. Oh fuck. Let's yeah, I deserve that one. You want some? Shit. 
Bad time to reload. Ah! Dick. Literally almost had that. There you go. Not this time, buddy. Get back here. Fire this shit! <laughs> Elena's like, nope. <laughs> okay, that's impressive. Uh, nope. What's that? Are you drunk? Hang on tight. Oh shit! Speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Yuffie, don't throw up, please. <laughs> that was a nice stunt, Elena. I'll give you that. But apparently, Tifa's a psychopath behind the wheel. Damn good. C. Plus? <laughs> well, you ain't getting my A game today. Oh, uh, you did good. I guess I got more based on how much HP I had left. Damn, C plus. That's gonna be an unpleasant conversation. Oh God, and they left the picture behind! Oh, Root's gonna pick that up, isn't he? <laughs> eh? <laughs> ah. Meanwhile, back at the Shinra building. <laughs> Who the heck is this? What the fuck? Oh! It's it. <laughs> it's. <laughs> if you don't mind my saying, you're in an awfully good mood. My man learned how to Photoshop. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's been productive. Sung? Don't have too much fun. Huh. Rufus is straight up helping us. Well, that, well, that, not Rufus. Uh, not Rufus. This is Rufus, the the Reeve guy. Rufus just doesn't give a shit. You called, sir. What is the status of the ancient? We still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? No. Just looking for Sephiroth. So. <laughs> I see. Is she a higher priority than the Materia? Hmm. Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine. To see it with my own eyes. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. The derpy dog, man. I cannot deal with this derpy dog face. Huh. <laughs> it's a dream of mine. How cute. Oh, shit. My man can literally just teleport like he's an Organization 13 member. Who are you? Really? Oh, come on. You know me. A 
And I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child, aren't you? A pig-headed, pathetic, daddy-hating child. God damn, man. Go straight for the personal attacks, and why don't you? That bratish exterior. Loneliness. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. This man is literally cha channeling Zigbar right now. He is straight channeling Zigbar. I swear to God, if it goes oopsie daisy or clever little sneak, I'm gonna shit a brick. We really need more people like you to give the world a shot in the arm. <laughs> and off he goes. Man, when did the freaking Organization 13 show up in Final what Fantasy 7? Truly one. <laughs> Oh, now that would be a crossover I would pay to see. You know, the shit with the Disney worlds, man. Give us Midgar as a world in Kingdom Hearts 4. <laughs> back to Cloud and the, or back to, or, yeah, Cloud. Yeesh, I can't talk today. <sighs> Let's start this manhunt. Yep. Well... Let's not and say we did another time because I am out of time today. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me for more heart wrenching episodes like this one. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.